So as you guys might know, my favorite types of Easter eggs are the ones that don't take an entire year to beat. I like the quite short, concise Easter eggs that are just there for you to have a bit of fun. So today I'm going to be going through every single Zombies game and picking out the shortest Easter egg and beating them in this video. So I won't waste too much time on the intro because it's pretty self-explanatory, but the one thing I will say is that in this video, I promise that if this video gets to 1000 likes, I'll beat the round 150 classified Easter egg on stream. So if you want to see me waste around 6 hours of my life getting to round 150 unclassified, then you know, make sure you guys leave a like. The second we hit it i'll go live but yeah without wasting any more time in the intro let's just jump straight into our first game which is world at war right then boys so our first easter egg for this video all right it has to be the reese now to try and demonstrate just how short the easter eggs actually are i do have a timer on the top right but this is by no means a speedrun okay i'm not a speedrun all right i don't know the tips and tricks yeah usually like an easter egg can take up like upwards of like an hour so you know for people like us you know casuals these easter eggs are pretty much like all considered short easter eggs uh, so yeah obviously pretty much like the only easter egg on world of war is the reese so we have to quickly bash through this Oh, bad boy. Now, this Easter egg can take a while, but it really just depends on if I'm going to die or not. Obviously, in an ideal world, we don't die. Look, all right, I can't put any guarantees on World of War because, bro, the knifing system in this game does not hold up at all. Oh, bro, getting a max hammer there is actually quite nice, though. Gonna be so wet up on the points. So, I think you're last guy. There we go. To be honest, I'll probably still buy this Gavette anyway. It's just like, make sure for a fact, certifiably. I don't even know if that's a word, but just to make sure here we don't die. But the zombies of World of War, they don't mess around. Yeah, I've always said, like, this is the one game that just hasn't aged very well, like, at all. If, for example, right like with black ops 1 you can hear people make it a case that it's like the best engine bro nobody's saying that world of war is their favorite engine like not even a soul you hear anybody saying that a lion to you but yeah let's just start opening up some doors and that should take us over the powers oh here we are go ahead and turn that on and then for like the five of you that don't know the dorisi strike basically we just need to open up package and get ourselves a package gun like that's kind of like the the main meat of it all right oh bro there's no way there's actually what, what did i get stuck on bro i got stuck on a heads of zombie bro it is so joker for me all right look okay we're just gonna pretend like i didn't die all right and we're back in business so let me head over here. Let's turn on the power again. I'm honestly tempted to hit the box so we have like a weapon. You know what? I'm actually going to do it. What are we going to get? We got the flamethrower. You are actually joking, bro. What is the chances? We got the poopiest little gun in the world. What is the flamethrower going to do for me? Nothing. It's just going to get me killed. All right, well, either way, let's start linking the mainframe. Okay, so there we go. We do have a dog round. So if I can get an insta kill here, that would honestly be massive. I don't think the scavera is going to do much. We're going to max ammo. You are actually trolling me again. Max ammo on a dog round, by the way. Oh, bro, I swear to God, if I die again, I swear down, bro. Oh my God. God, bro, my little sugar plum, please. Bro, you literally cannot make this shit up, bro. I went from PTRS to Flame Pro to fucking PTRS again, bro. It, it's not happening, bro. It's actually, the world's against me. The world is asking for some trouble. I am so fed up with playing Therese, and I, I've had to play this three times, bro. I thought this was going to be a quick, nice little easy Easter egg. This has proven to so far be an absolute nightmare. All right, come on, game, please. I actually just need one good, bro, like, it, it, what am I, what am I even doing wrong? What am I doing wrong, bro? You know what? You know fucking what? It'll do. I don't know who I killed in a previous life to get this much bad luck but you know what you gotta do what you gotta do all right see i should have at least had a pack punch open by now but nah i'd spend like 5k on the box just to end up with this poopy little double barrel shotgun you know what, whatever let's just get to lincoln again you know, i'm actually begging now for a double point so like, please for under oh my god all right let's link this one next okay, so there's a second one done so we have one more that we need to link and we have a double points kind of pointless at the end of the round but whatever let's just try and link our final teleporter and then all we've got to do is just save up the 5,000 points and then we can pack a punch and then we can be off this fucking map I'm actually praying for my salvation right now okay so there we go pack punch is open Five thousand points that's all we need that's not even that much look all right we're like nearly already halfway there i mean also like i'm all right we're getting the double barrel at least because like it's good against the dogs better than the flamethrower that's all i'm gonna say okay i'm feeling good this time around i'm almost tempted to hit the box again no come on i can't don't do it jake it's like an addiction all right you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw a monkey though bro, should i just buy the sv oh you know what? i'm gonna have to just buy it in bro no trust me all right this is an investment because the shoddy you're right the shoddy like a melody all right it isn't gonna be able to like get me many points <laughs> Bro, this is the fucking Joker origin story, I'm telling you, bro. Alright, boys, surely, alright, this is gonna be the time. I've got me a Type 100, I've got me a Browning LMG. Alright, we're pretty much at 5,000 points. I just gotta literally make sure I don't die, which for some reason is proven to be more difficult than it should be. Okay, there we go, alright, 5,000 points, we got it. We are this fucking close, bro. Let's just get down to one last crawler. So there you go, I think that's it. Okay, so let's pack a bunch of Type 100. Bro, I'm optimizing the fuck out of this, bro. Like, I do not want to mess this up again. Alright, so come out here, let's shoot the panel. So, bam, there we go. The All the toys are gonna start flying off into the yeah. so now we just need to shoot all the toys so there's one up there so shoot that there's another one that spawns down there and i'm pretty sure if i open up this door here and then make my way down here just need to shoot the monkey bomb and that is all three of the toys when you shoot right so you just said game over so that's it took 11 minutes 11 minutes on the timer right by the way but like realistically i think this honestly took upwards of like 30 minutes to do bro that is embarrassing <laughs> for, for the Doris easter egg bro i actually don't even want to talk about it but yeah there we go all right so that's world of war done so i mean it, like literally the entire easter egg just consists of shooting three things around 
on a map with a pack range gun. Like, it's really not that bad. So, I thought I said anime test lab. This is an animal testing lab, but yeah, <laughs> that's where they make all the weebs, bro. Uh, but yeah, so with World of War done, let's just waste no more time and jump straight into our next game, which is Black Ops 1. Right then, boys, so on to Black Ops 1. Now, when it came to this game, I realistically only had like two options. It was either going to be Ascension or it was going to be Call of the Dead, okay? Now, hear me out. The reason I'm picking Ascension, right? Because both of these Easter eggs realistically require a load of RNG. Arguably, Call of the Dead has less RNG because you need to get the VR 11. But if you guys have been around on my channel for a while, you'll know that I have some of the worst look in the game, okay? Like, I take top spot for worst RNG. So, I downloaded a cheeky little mod, which essentially gives me, like, the best RNG. Okay, now, it is cheating. It kind of, okay? But look, alright, I'm not here to sweat out, alright? I don't want to, like, have to wipe down my balls every single time I hit the box, bro. But every time I get past, like, round 15, I'm just here to have a nice time, do some Easter eggs, and, and be on my way. So, on that note, why have I chose Ascension? Well, you see, uh, the RNG mod doesn't really work with Call of Dead. So, we're doing Ascension. <laughs> it's just that simple, because I feel like I can actually get this, like, within 30 minutes. Uh, so, yeah. See, I did say, alright, if people want me to cut out the RNG mod from, like, the Black Ops 1 segment, so I'll, I, you know, I have to spend about seven years in the mystery box, just twine at me in the comments, and eventually, all right, I'll listen. But, you know, when I, when I did say that, no one said anything, all right? So, in my books, I've got the green light. I've got the clear. Boys, it's just a BO1 moment. Uh, but, yeah, so I don't really know what round I want to leave the spawn room on, because I do need a lot of points. I need to open up a, like, a good chunk of the map. But that nuke was actually kind of big, though. But, I mean, I guess I might as well just start making a move. I'll open up this way first, just so that we have it open. So, there we go. All right, now, boys, I don't know if you guys have, like, heard of a TikTok. It's called, like, Mr. Maddox Bussin, okay? And now, let me give you the full story, right? It was, like, 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning, right? Like, haven't slept, been up all night. I'm sitting in a call with SPP, uh, which, if you don't know, it's just another zombie YouTuber. Sitting in a call, right? And he shows me this TikTok, and he's like, he's like, look, I just, I can't tell if it's satire or not. And I'm like, boys, look, all right, I'm the, I'm the master. I'm the, I'm team detective, all right? Like, I can figure this out in about four seconds. So we watch some of his TikToks, and it starts off, and I'm like, yeah, bro, this guy's putting on an act. But then the more I watch, right, the more I delve into his content, the more I'm like, actually, hold up a second. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like this guy's not putting on an act. Everyone in the comments are begging him, like, bro, please break character once. Bro has not broken character a single time. And he actually had me stumped. Like, I, I went to bed that day, if you could even call it going to bed, because I was just thinking about it. I was like, I, I was stuck in my brain. It was ingrained into my memory of just seeing this guy. So yeah, honestly, I don't even know if this is like, I, I think he might be a real person, but at the same time, I'm really not too sure. But bro, some of the comments are foul, bro. They are absolutely horrendous. Basically, everyone just says in the comments, right, it's this, this poor kid. He, I, I don't know how old he is. I'll be honest, like, I can't see him being any older than, like, 18. That's, like, at a stretch, maybe he, like, got stumped in growth. I don't know. But, bro, all the comments, bro, are just, like, you'll know what I'm talking about, right? But they just go, clean up aisle, my pants. And they'll be like, oh, Maddox, it's all over the screen. And, bro, there was there was one fucking comment, bro. And I, I will never forget it. Bro just said, letting it crust for an hour. I was speechless. Bro, this is why you gotta stay off TikTok. You know, I'm, like, genuinely curious. What do you guys prefer, right? Like, I know they're practically the exact same thing, but do you guys prefer YouTube shorts or do you guys prefer TikTok? I'm a YouTube shorts enjoyer, okay? Like, I will only partake in my fair share of YouTube shorts. But then again, right, like, the only reason I really, I think I prefer YouTube shorts is because it's already set up in the algorithm. Like, if I was to get on TikTok, right, I'd have to go follow a bunch of accounts and I'd have to, like, you know, go watch some stuff that I'd think is funny, which I'd have to search it up, which, bro, I don't know what I'm, I want to search up. The whole point is it's meant to give me the funny. I'm not meant to look up the funny. So the only reason I'd ever go on TikTok is for my main man Smooth Pappy, and that's it. I was, like, an avid, like, hater of TikTok, though, right? Like, I would not even set foot on that platform. But that was when, like, all the cringe stuff was going on, like, like the dances and, and all that, like, either files. I, there was a lot of stuff on there, right, that I didn't want to engage with. And Rizzo was on there, so I said, like, look, I'm staying far away. Yeah, I kind of can't criticize TikTok anymore because, like, YouTube Shorts is literally the exact same thing. Most people just repost their TikToks from TikTok onto the YouTube Shorts, but it's almost, like, the exact same It's pretty much, like, the exact same thing. Also, bro, I just went on the biggest waffle for so long. Essentially, right now, I just want to get a load of points and just open up a good chunk of the map. But I do need to get Gersh's, so I am going to start hitting the box soon. Bro, letting it crust for an hour, bro. If someone ever said that to me on my video, they're actually getting banned off my channel, bro. Letting it crust for an hour. That's crazy, bro. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Bro, he said let it crust for an hour. That's bro, he put up a really cringe one and it always gets SPP. Like, it's such a simple comment. It's just, this felt like a gunshot. And bro, honest to God, like, it really did. There was one that was just that fucking cringe. Of ways I've epically trolled different types of teachers. And yeah, trolled is pronounced trolled. Deal with it. <laughs> 
Also, how am I out of ammo? What's this happened? I guess I'll head down here real quick to buy this. Go to town. Okay, so since we're down to the last two guys, I'm going to go ahead and start hitting the box. So this is how the RNG mod works, right? Essentially, it's just going to give me all the things I need for the uh, Easter eggs. So obviously, we need the ray gun. We need the thunder gun. And then the last hit should be Gersh's. Uh, so, yep, there we go. Now, is it cheap? Is it just like a bit wrong? Look, all right. Got to do what you got to do. Game is game. You guys just know the rules. I guess while I'm up here, I could just like work on opening up the pack a bunch because we do need to do that. So let's take this Lunar Lander back over the spawn. So there we go. There's one out of three. Uh, I'll also go ahead and buy Quick Revive. And I guess I'll go take the other two landers. Might as well get it all opened up this round. So let's take this. We're unlucky zombies. See you later. So there we go. There's two out of three. Okay, so let's take this. So uh, there we go. Okay, so while we're here, actually, I'll go ahead and toss a gush all the way outside the map towards that generator since we need to start sucking that bad boy all up. Oh, take that, bro. That sounds so bad. Yo, don't take that out of context, bro. I was talking about a generator, right? Not a guy. Not a dude. Ain't talking about no little fella down there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and now launch the sequence. So and that bad boy over to the moon. Oops, unlucky. I shot it with a ray gun. See you later, bro. I do. I just love how it clips through the fucking map, bro. That's actually the brightest shit in the whole world, by the way. Game is game. Also, am I gonna get a monkey round? Oh wait, bro. I should not have uh, ended the round just yet. Oh, and it's all oh, unlucky. All right, it's calm. It's calm. All right, guys, don't even panic. Guys, if you're panicking, you, you cringe. You cringe. Okay. I would never panic. Hear me out. Don't even be stressing. To be fair, if I lose my quick revive, it's not the end of the world. I just need to make sure I don't end the round. That's all that matters. All right. Now the reason that I probably shouldn't have ended the round because. Because for me to do the next step, I first need to come over here and interact with this computer. Why? Because why not, right? The game can't be nice to you. But yeah, now that we've done that, there should be four buttons that appear around the map. We need to hit them real quick. So, one right here. So, let's hit that. And there should be another one just up here by PhD. Bro, I really should have bought stamina up this. But I actually am lacking on points. And we're probably going to be low on points for, like, basically the rest of the game. Because I'm getting no points from the ray gun and the thunder gun. Yeah, hit another button there. So, we have one more, which is all the way up by speed cooler. Hopefully, I'm quick enough to have uh, done this step. I don't know if there's like a time limit oh, okay now we did it yeah i was gonna say i feel like i remember like when i installed it it said something like you have to hit him within like a minute and a half or like two minutes i honestly can't remember but i mean we managed to get it so i don't care i'm happy so we're technically on to the next step so for this i'm gonna save a zombie because i don't really feel like doing this mid round i'd rather just wait a minute in silence and uh so wet up for my entire life also i'll worry about that quicker right because i don't trust black ops one right even though i've got a ray gun and the thunder gun and ghost devices i'm definitely still gonna get double swiped and like bummed i think i want to ask you guys by the way because i made a video on it a while ago and it didn't really take off but all of a sudden it's getting a lot of traction there's a game called skur ritual right and it's basically like a game heavily inspired by like cod zombies and me and a few other people like spp civo and matt right we played it and we played it like before the game had actually came out and you know we, we quite enjoyed it it was it was a decent game you know the developers who made it were nice enough to give us a free code uh, so i could like play and review the game right so I made a video of it didn't do great and then all of a sudden it took off right when the 1.0 build came out which came out on like the 19th but what i'm basically trying to get out right is that like, would you guys want to see more videos on skur ritual or not because they've got like a bunch of new easter eggs and stuff like that like hardcore easter eggs kind of similar to like what the um the final right did right in world war 2 so yeah if you guys would want to see us beat those uh easter eggs then let me know and i'll definitely do it although yeah right now we're just doing the next step of the easter egg so basically we just have to stand on this platform for like a minute like until that little lock thing there goes all the way around now we made a cool lot all the way back there and bro, bro is not catching on like i'll be honest bro he's staying all the way over there like, it's over for him we're about to be done with the step it is gonna end the round so look, i'm gonna happily take my like little 50 points whatever i'm gonna get from that but bro, you guys know how it is so with that we're now on to like the final step of the easter egg because there would be another step uh before this one but with the solo easter egg mod it kind of just removes it because i guess they couldn't find a way to make it work in bo one so you know, my apologies i could have you know whipped up one of the boys to help me out but look, all right they're people too right they got busy lives and plus you know what that means i have to hold the civil hd longer than what my contract you know obliges me to do so unfortunately this is what we're gonna have to deal with also that dog points is actually massive uh, but yeah essentially all we've got to do right but this very final step is we just need to pack a bunch of the ray gun and pack a bunch of stuff on the gun and then once we've done that it's time to make some moves some schmoofs as it would say so let's just keep gathering up a load of points oh this insta is kind of big actually i mean we do have to play it kind of for, like risky with the knife in look all right anything is better than getting 50 points oh bro look at the pointage bro we're making the big place oh we're going crazy all right so let's pack a bunch of the ray gun and then we'll just start working on the thunder gun never mind bro i guess i'll go fuck myself yeah i think it has to be a pack a bunch of thunder gun as well i don't really understand why though because it literally does the exact same amount of damage as the unpack a bunch version so i i don't really understand not even gonna question it i guess i could give it a go just to see you know what imagine um, Imagine. Okay, so all we gotta do, right, is come over here, throw a gush at the floor. So bam, shoot this with the thunder gun, switch to the ray gun, and then just go to town. And hopefully it should work. If it doesn't work, it means we have to pack punch. Yeah, we actually have to pack punch. That's a joke, bro. I don't get it. I don't understand why. It's Black Ops 1, bro. Actual Black Ops 1 moment. If you don't know, Black Ops 1 is, is no way even near. I don't think it's in my top three zombies games. I'm really not a fan of Black Ops 1. Like, I don't like the maps, I don't really like the Easter eggs, I don't like the weapons. There's only a few games I'll put below it. Those being like World War 2 and Vanguard. Oh my god, bro. We're going to round 13. Actually getting no point see i guess like what i could have done is i could have like traded out
out the thunder gun like i don't know like the mp5 or something like that then once i had enough coins like just hit the box and got it back i don't know if it would have given me it back though which is why i don't really want to risk it okay hold up actually a death machine now i'm not saying this is my ticket to get in bro i won't die please don't die please don't die please don't die that was actually scary don't go please don't leave me alone okay we're at 5k points so as soon as this death machine goes uh, we can try the next step like you know actually why would i say try the next step i was gonna be like finish the easter egg okay so heading here pack rooms to thunder gun this is gonna sound crazy but is the thunder gun the most iconic wonder weapon in all the call duty zombies i actually don't know bro because i feel like the only thing that could top it is the ray gun bro like i just feel like everyone knows the thunder gun and everyone knows the ray gun so it's like i don't know i'm actually left speechless what do you guys think so we could get this sub 30 hold up let me sweat up a little bit here okay so ghost device out please say that counts if it doesn't count i'm gonna be so upset yeah shoot this with the thunder gun switch to the ray gun go 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 please work it actually didn't work bro that's so sad okay let's try it again then that is literally on it bro okay it's going up i think i can already see it going up go 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 working that's working boys i mean right there i mean that is technically the end of the easter egg so yeah we did get it sub 30 very nice so that is why boys it is the shortest easter egg because you can literally do it in 30 minutes with uh with rng and if you're playing it on solo obviously if like you're not playing it on solo it does take a little bit longer i guess like according to speedruns i suppose i think call of the dead is technically the shorter one because you do the call of the dead easter egg in like six minutes if you really like sweat up on it but right, i'm not about that life for me personally i'm always faster on that ascension because i've got bad uh, box stock yeah you know that's black ops one done very cool stuff very easy stuff we should move in so without wasting any more time let's jump straight into our next game which is black ops 2 all right now boys so on to black ops 2 the map i chose is die rise now this was kind of a mix between either gonna be it was either gonna be die rise or transit all right i'm gonna be honest with you because a lot of people actually think that these easter eggs are difficult boys i'm gonna spoil if you know all right they're not i mean to be fair all right i am doing on solo which does make it a little bit easier because obviously i don't have to like coordinate with a whole team or anything like that but yeah like this easter egg really is not that bad so i'm gonna just speed run through this real quick so first thing we first all right so first thing we need to do is we need to build this trample steam so we go ahead and get all the parts and drop them down there last part is over here so let's take that down there so and then we can just hop down here so uh, let's start building all right bob the builder is in the building so add on the flag and let's add on like the weird fan thingy still don't know what this part is by the way if we're quick oh bro i actually got trolled that's crazy it just did that to me all right well i mean that kind of sucks but i mean i guess it's fine because i want to head back up to spawn right and i want to take uh, the elevator and spawn down so that takes us pretty much straight to where we need to go so we could wait for the elevator or i could do this cheeky little trick i've been practicing so bam okay no not quite hold up hold up boys okay it's about to go crazy when i get it okay hold on okay i'll take the zombie away bro the elevator could honestly be here by the time like i have managed to pull this off okay the elevator's already moved downwards bro that is unfortunate but you know what you know what we're gonna get even wackier watch this boys you ready look at this look at this look at this look at this okay okay hold up um yo i actually don't even want to talk about it okay look right, i'm not even playing around this time i'm just gonna take the elevator back up and let's just take this big elevator down okay i wanted to show some speedrun techniques okay like i've been trying to learn a few of them but it looks like i've still got a while to go before i can uh start showing them off in videos uh but yeah now that we're down here we'll withdraw a few points and i'm actually not gonna turn on the power just yet right and like hear me out if i've focused on building the liquefier first i can then immediately take that elevator up because most of the time right by the time i've done building the liquefier it's already gone so i think this would be slightly quicker bro i could be yapping though and i could also be feeling myself a little bit and just uh, oh my god okay i nearly fucked the map but why am i even doing this this is just dumb all right you know what i'm not even gonna bother with that little trick i'm gonna play it safe right i'm gonna play it serious so let me head in here and i think there'll be a part here yep there we go and here's also the bowl so i'm gonna do some parts up and uh, take these bad boys down with me so this should be the liquefier built there we go nice okay so now i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power uh, and then what i need to do is i need to come over here and stand on this symbol and that's kind of like the first step done also i just realized by the way like me turning on power at the very end was almost next to pointless because i don't think i'm gonna make it back there in time but i need to check this symbol which it actually was that symbol as well that's actually kind of crazy but look it's actually on my side today oh maybe i'll make it as well hold up let him cook oh bro look at look at the schmoo on this man bro actual fucking time organizer my management skills are insane those years i wasted at university bro it's all coming together now it's all making it worth it oh my god bro how does he even do it also i completely forgot i need to be taking a note of these mahjong tiles so that is north red so i need to write that down so good to know that it's okay, so what i gotta do now is i need to come over here is there a mahjong tile here that actually is it's black and south so that's kind of big uh, but yeah, i need to come over here buy the svu very important for some reason i don't really know why you have to buy the svu like obviously no other gun works so like you kind of have to but like does it really matter what bullet you put into the dragon's balls i don't think it does i think the game's just being extra uh, but yeah now that we've done that we need to come over here and we need to shoot the balls and make them all slippy with 20 shots from this liquid fire so let's just all wet these bad boys up thank god i'm not playing a stool and jump because if i was right, i'd be crying now right now at these quotes from uh rick Toffin. bro gets a little bit devious but also we somehow ended the round let's go and there we go that last one is now spinning we also have a magic tower here which is blue four uh, and now we're gonna get the trample steam kills so you can also do another cheeky little trick right where you come down here and you can get the kills from down here now this is actually quite helpful because on the off chance 
points, right? But the game's like, you know what? We're going to break your trample steam. You can just pick up a new one immediately, which is quite helpful. Also, I think this is working. I mean, I probably should have been playing a Stoolinger to be fair, just so I could like hear the quotes. Because I think you need to put it here in like a very specific like position. So yeah, hopefully it just works. We'll see though. I mean, they are technically going towards the tower. So you'd think, right? Like in a realistic world, we should be all in the clear here. Also, how does this glitch work? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's like just below the symbol up there where you can do it. So I think it's just like this entire position that works. So it doesn't really matter about like what height it's on. Oh, also, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. So it was working. That's actually kind of big. So we're pretty much at the last step of the Easter egg, bro. 10 minutes in, by the way. Hop it off. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hop down here because I need to look for some more Marjoram tiles. So there's one here. So this is red free. That's kind of huge. Then I also need to head down here and buy the Galvan, of course, since we are going to be needing those for the next step. And is there a Marjoram tile here? There is. That is, I think, uh, green west, which is actually kind of big because that means that blue has to be east and this is the only direction we haven't found. So yeah, we can actually do the uh, the next step now. Like it is going to be like through trial and error technically. Like it's two possible combinations it could be. So I'm just going to try both of them. Unless the game was going to be the last Marjoram tile, which is right here. That is black one, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So the order has to be south, west, north, east. Perfect. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm just going to like dive off the map. So I believe I'm just going to spawn back up at spawn with all of my stuff. Yeah. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Look at the tactics, bro. How does he do it? Also, am I going to die if I land on that? All right. It doesn't really matter anyway. So let's go ahead and jump over here and let's go ahead and enter this. So south, west, north, then east. And I believe that is the Easter egg done. Yeah. There we go. Oh, 12 minutes, by the way. Yo, I feel like a little MVP at the moment. I think that is the fastest I've ever beat that Easter egg, by the way. Like, ever. So I'm very happy. I put in all the little tips and tricks right there. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've been like hard practicing this map. Like, look at that. But even like, some of you guys didn't even know that was a thing. I'm just over here, just chilling, bro. And there's that last magic. Bro, how does he do it, bro? Actual monster. Bro, could he could he even be a little bad boy? Could he even be okay? Okay, well, he nearly was. Don't ask me what I was even trying to pull off there. But yeah, that is the diorite Easter egg. I feel like it, you, the fact that you're able to do the Easter egg in 12 minutes. I mean, I think the world record is like, what, is it like six minutes or something like that? So if someone did it twice as fast as me, which to be fair isn't really a surprise. But yeah, like the fact that you can do it that fast, I feel like it kind of shows that this is the fastest Easter egg probably on this game or like the shortest Easter egg on this game. Specifically the Richtofen inside, like the Maxis side, it is pretty short. Like you can do it pretty quick, but like compared to the Richtofen inside, bro, unmatched. Uh, so yeah, you know, with Black Ops 2 out of the way and completely done, let's just go ahead and waste no time and jump straight into our next Easter egg for this video. Right then, boys. So next up, we've got Advanced Warfare. Now, obviously the shortest Easter egg on this game is going to be Outbreak because it's the very first one they ever did. And to be honest, they actually peaked with their first one. Like, bro, Outbreak on it's on Advanced Warfare, it's actually like a pretty okay map. Like, it's not actually that bad. Compared to what else you get, like, you get Infection, but that map's actually dookie, bro. We never even talk about that. Like, the Scent Carrier, like, this Easter egg just sucks. So, I actually really like Outbreak, right? It's a nice, short, simple Easter egg. Doesn't outstay its welcome. And yeah, so, you know, this is going to be the Easter egg for this team in the video. But uh, yeah, so let's just, like, build up a load of points real quick. I think that's the end of the round. So, I'm going to start making a move. So, this Easter egg does have a tiny bit of RNG, but, like, it's not that bad. We need to get lucky with, like, one thing out of the box. Uh, but yeah, so that black box we picked up as Swarm. We're gonna go ahead and place it down here if we can. A little bit glitchy, but you know, we move game, please. And turn on power first. Is that what the issue is? All right, is it gonna work now? Right, it actually is not placing it down. Speechless. Bro, I actually don't know. Right, I'm coming back to it. But for now, let's just head up here, go into the exo testing room, turn on the power, and grab ourselves an exo suit. So bam, there you go. Now, can I place it down, please? Game, I am begging. But where do I need to interact with? There we go. Holy shit, bro. I took way too long. All right, so I'm also gonna go ahead and hit the box. Now, we need the EM1. So you know what? I'm gonna try the little trick just just in case it does magically decide it wants to work for me today. Oh, oh my god, bro. Wait, look, see, okay, I don't believe it. All right, I still don't believe it. Basically, right, it's like an ongoing rumor that you can stop the box on the weapon that you want to, like, want to have. And I don't believe it, right, because I read up that it doesn't actually work. And, you know, personally, like, most of the time, whenever I try it, it doesn't work. But then whenever I record this Easter egg, and I'm like, yeah, guys, look, it doesn't work, right? It's complete bullshit. I try it, and it just fucking works every single time, bro. Like, actually speechless. I don't even know what to say. You know, to be fair, it's actually really good that we got it, because that means everything else isn't going to require any RNG. So we can actually get ourselves our first key card now. So if I just hit the box while shooting it with the EM1, as you can see, we're going to get a key card. So let's pick that little bad boy up. And in the bottom left, we now have one key card, which is very nice. Also, we're getting so many, but bro, what is the look with this fucking run today? This one's going crazy. Oh, uh, but yeah, so we need to head in here, enable power, buy Exo Slam, because we are going to need that for the next step. But now I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work or not. We need to come over here and we need to shoot this little like metal rod here with a weapon. And by the looks of it, the EM1 does seem to be working. Okay, I don't want to die though. Oh, there we go. So let's just keep shooting this. Right, the EM1 is doing like actual business on this. I think it's done already. So all we got to do now is just jump up, do a cheeky little slam right there. Come over here, pick up the second key card. So there we go. As you can see, we've gone up to two now. And bro, we are making like some serious work on this. Okay, that is kind of, that's a little bit dookie, but the Ameli though, actually just the gun I was looking for because we actually need this 
for the next key card. Bro, this is like the craziest outbreak run I've ever had in my entire life. But yeah, let's go ahead and use the trash chute, like walk away so it just does that and go in it. It should take us to like the garbage disposal area. So there we go. Bro, imagine, right, if we get this first try, I'm actually gonna lose my shit. So basically what we gotta do, right, is we gotta shoot the floor, and just keep spamming F and I hope to God that we managed to shoot up a key card. A little bit rare to get, but look, all right, with how my look is like going at the moment, I believe. So, you know, we're gonna switch the EM1 here and actually go to town. I don't think we're getting it, boys. Yeah, okay. A kind of unfortunate, but you know what? We still have like another round we can try this on. So are we at the end of the round? Yes, we are. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna try this again. So open up trash shoot and then we'll go in. So we should be back here now. Perfect. Come on, game. Give me what I need. Give me what I need, game. Please, 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 please. Okay, switch to the EM1. Oh, we got it, bro. Oh my God. We are cooking so hard right now with this Easter egg. Now, don't get me wrong, right? We're not on like any crazy like world record pace, but still I'm like genuinely surprised because this is the fastest I think I've ever gotten to this part of the Easter egg. I'm almost tempted, right? Go for the secret ending. Now, if you don't know what the secret ending is, right? Basically, at the end of his Easter egg, you kind of just get clapped. Now, but with the secret ending, you actually live. Now, the way you got to do that, right, is you got to get all of like these extra key cards that you need only using the punt. And since we're on like a decently low round still, we could pull it off. I mean, it would take a lot longer than usual, but it'd be something new. And guys, it's all about the experience. Okay, never mind, bro. The punches actually are starting to kind of suck. And by the way, all I'm waiting for now is like the poison zombie special round. And that's it. So I think it should be this round. Yeah, okay, nice. So let's get infected because, you know, we need to do that. And then we need to hit four buttons in this area. So let's hit this one. There is one just here. There's another one right here. And the final one is right here. So it should open up this and then pick it up. There we go. That's all four key cards we need to obtain. But we're not done just yet, okay? Oh, bro, we can't go for the secret. And then apparently we started collecting key cards. That is so upsetting. Oh, that is that is heartbreaking. That is truly heartbreaking, bro. Oh, that is, that is sad. I was I was ready to go for it as well. All right, well, I mean, it is what it is. I don't remember like, picking up key cards, but I guess you've got to just like melee straight from the get-go. It's fine. All right, I'll save it for another video. One thing I do want to test out is like the punch is always going to give you a key card. I think they do. So maybe that's like not as hard as I initially thought. So I feel like when you shoot them, yeah, they only have a chance to drop a key card, but it seems like if you melee them, always get the key card. Okay. That makes it a little bit easier, right? When I do eventually go for it. Okay, but we're rocking up to about halfway now. Bro, can this game like just give me like a decent weapon, please? That's all I'm asking for. This SN6. What, insta-kill? I mean, just the fact that every single melee is giving me a key card. This insta-kill is kind of big. So is a fire cell, to be fair. Okay, well, we're at 49 key cards. I actually can't remember if that's it. I think it is because I think you get the 50th key card from like all the way down here. Could we yap in though? Like if I interact with this, yeah, there we go. Right, we're at 50 now. So then we come over here, interact with the terminals, and I believe make my way down here and interact with the exosuit. Uh, no. Let me come do it again. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to do it. So now we interact with the exosuit. That's going to open up. And if we make our way over the spawn, that should be the end of the Easter egg. Bro, literally the fastest I've ever done this in, by the way. 16 minutes. Oh, so yeah, we're over here now. As you can see, this thing's trying to pick us up, but it gets hit. Our unlucky, just collapsed through the building that wheel like just like flies up in the air oh, but yeah that is literally the end of the easter egg so let's stop the timer 16 minutes 53 all right you know what that would put me 23rd in the world on a zwr but yeah you know i'm a speedrunner you know i'm kind of crazy but yeah that is advanced warfare done i always like doing this easter egg i don't know why i've already like mentioned it before in videos but i really liked the short easter eggs because it feels like when everything comes together and like you kind of like perfect your own like game right like it just feels so satisfying so when everything just went right in this like run right here i oh, know bro i got like a uh, odd sense of you for you, bro. Like, I, was, I was getting a bit excited about it, but yeah, that's Advanced Warfare done. Nice and quick little map for us, so let's waste no more time and jump straight on to our next game for this video. Right then, boys, so over to Black Ops 3. Now, obviously, we have the giant, all right? I mean, this Easter egg, it's like the Reese, okay? It just takes no time, and I was genuinely debating, like, just being like, all right, look, the giant doesn't count because it's a little bit too easy, but look, all right, it's the shortest Easter eggs in every single game, right? I'm not playing any fucking favoritisms, right? I'm not changing the rules, right? You know the rules. If you don't know the rules, you know, get to know the rules, as Beaver would say. And look, all right, it it's undeniable that the giant is the quickest easter egg on this game i mean you can literally do it in about what like three minutes if you get the right gobble gums but i decided you know what i'm not playing like that okay i'm not gonna let myself use any mega gobble gums so as you can see right now i've got a, a really good gobble gum pack of the rk5 <laughs> the marshall 16s the bowie knife the skull and subway with a wonder Wolf image and the 1911 so look okay, right i'm not gonna make it that easy for myself because otherwise i'll literally just pop like ethereal enhancement uh, and call it a day obviously because it's bo3 and not world of war like the game isn't like just poorly built so it shouldn't really have any troubles now the thing is right as so i was thinking about it and i was like i don't really want to include remasters like for example like bo1 right i could have just done uh, the bo1 version of the reese did the exact same thing because technically that would be the shortest easter egg but the thing with the giant right is you actually need to do this easter egg and also do the super easter egg and then when you compare that to like the zombie chronicles uh, maps like you don't have to do those for any super easter eggs right look to be honest am i just trying to justify me picking the giant yes look all right i gotta like give you guys some you know of my insight you know where my brain was going with this and yeah you know just stop being a hater i do need to find things to talk about though because otherwise this part of the video will actually be about four minutes long. Real crazy stuff. But you know what? I guess I'll go ahead and throw
throw it in now. All right, take the cheeky little guess on what you guys are eating. You guys are munching, what you guys are snacking on. You know, it's chompers to work on, if you know what I mean. Bro, honestly, like, I've got to give it a thought, right? Because I've kind of gone through everything. You know, I've gone through cereal. I've gone through, like, chocolate. I've, I've done chicken. Obviously, if I was trying to break down my audience, I don't think anyone here is running a steak on the side uh, while watching Renzaru content. So a steak would be a bit of a silly guess. There'll be someone now who comments like, oh, yeah, I was eating a steak. Unless you're, like, seven in a restaurant with your parents and you're, like, an iPad kid. And you have to have... Bro, if you have my videos, like, playing out loud in a restaurant and you're, like, an iPad kid, bro, like, I feel so bad for the people around you. That is a rough situation to be in, bro. But, yeah, back to the topic at hand. What would you guys be munching on? What are you guys snacking on? Um, you know what? I don't think I've, I've said this very often. And this kind of is, like, a wide range of things, okay? So I'm surely going to get a few of you guys. I'm just going to guess candy, you know? Like, just straight up candy. I don't know what that is in, like, America. Like, what is the most popular candy in America? I'd assume, like, nerds or something like, like that. In the UK, it's, like, really cheap pick and mixes or, like, Haribo's. So, like, candies or sweets, depending on where you're from. I think that's a pretty good guess. Like, I might be cooking onto something here. And what would you guys be drinking, huh? I've said water before, but, like, I feel like it's going to have to be water because, look, the, the logic of a gamer, right, of, of at least one that's trying to be healthy is I'll eat the most unhealthy shit in the entire world, but then be like, nah, I'm drinking water. So it's just, it's either going to be water or fucking, like, G Fuel or some kind of, like, elder energy drink. All right, I know you guys. At the back of my hand. All right, so let me know if I, <laughs> if I was right in the comments. Holy shit, please don't die. Please, I don't want to repeat all the war. Bro, I had to focus up there, bro. I had to sit up for my chair. Right now, I'm slouching. You know what's so nice about the video, right? I don't have to sweat up. I don't have to go through emotional pain, uh, at least now that Model War's gone. I get to have a nice little relaxing video where I could just chill out and, you know, just play the game how I want to play it. Also, you know what? I'm just going to throw this in here now. I noticed a video on my second channel has, like, over a thousand views. How that happened, I actually have no idea, bro. But uh, I appreciate anyone who went over and checked that out. Basically, the second channel is just, like, meant to be for, like, short form content. So it's, like, custom maps or, like, mods. I feel like I can't turn into, like, a full video. I think I could still make, like, some sort of video on it, if you know what I mean. So if for some reason you want more of me, uh, go check that out. It'll be somewhere in the description. But yeah, back to the Easter egg, right? Because I just, like, straight up not been commenting on it at all. We only have to do this one last uh, mainframe, I believe. That's the words I'm looking for. I actually, like, struggled to say that for a second. Yeah, once I've done this, yeah, that should be pack much open, so bam. Look how, look how nice, by the way, like, the, the giant looks. Bro, it actually goes so hard. It makes me feel a certain way. Also, we've got a new key. That's quite nice. So I'll pick that up. That's going to put us over the 5,000 points. I'll go ahead and pack a bunch of gun. So right, there we go. And it's just like Doris. Come over here. We'll shoot the panel outside the map. It's going to make all of these, like, toys and, like, any other looking things, like, blow into the air. But this time, right, instead of Samantha, we've got the press maxes. Bro, he's so sad. Like, why is he actually so, like, sad? Does anyone know the law reason? Because he gets, like, he's depressed, bro. Like, he's having a rough week. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and shoot our toy up there. Bro, I swear he says, he's like, yeah, you found me. Uh, bro, he's, he's, he's going for a rough time in his life, bro. I feel kind of bad for Maxis. I mean, yeah, you know, he betrayed us at the end of BO2, but like, oh man, you just got to feel bad for him. Bro, he's not having a good week. Uh, but yeah, shoot the monkey. Uh, and then if we head over here, we can shoot the bear that's just chilling in the vat. And then if I make my way down here, we should be able to just to get the Annihilator. And there we go, boys. That is Easter egg done. It literally lasts in 10 minutes. My reward is going to be equipment. What does it actually do if I pick these up? I don't think it does anything. Yeah, nothing even happened, dude. Uh, but yeah, you know, that is BO3. I'm sorry if you guys think it's a little bit of a cop out. Uh, unfortunately, it really do just be this way. I don't think I would have included the giant if it wasn't required for the super Easter egg, right? Like, the fact that it's for the super Easter egg, it's like the game's like, yeah, this is a main Easter egg. Plus, you know, I just, I don't, I don't care, boys. It's my video. I'll do what I want. <laughs> yeah, with BO3 complete, let's go ahead and move on to our next game for this video, which I believe is Infinite Warfare. Right then, boys. So, on to Infinite Warfare. Now, when it came to this game, I was like, which map do I actually want to pick, right? Because it was either between Raven the Redwoods or it was going to be between Beast from Beyond. So, I was genuinely considering, right? I was pondering. Uh, but I decided towards uh, Raven the Redwoods because it's been a while since I actually played this map. So, you know, I thought it would be a little bit fun. Uh, and two, Beast from Beyond, like, it can be fast, but the boss fight is kind of difficult as well. So, it's like, yeah, we're going to do Raven the Redwoods, all right? Uh, so, I'm going to come down here. I want to pick up the Smiley since it's going to be like our main weapon. Also, going to turn on the power. Uh, and then we're going to continue trying to get all of these parts towards the boat because uh, I'm pretty sure the first thing we have to do is we need to go to talk to like Kevin. If you don't know Kevin, you know, get to know Kevin. He's the goat. Uh, but yeah, we're just missing the one part, which is all the way over in the rave area. So let me go ahead and head over there real quick. And yeah, now, so this Easter egg ride is honestly super easy. Like, I'm playing on Director's Cut because whenever I do Easter eggs on the Infinite Warfare, like, I always like to have Director's Cut on because, in my opinion, it's like the most fun way to play the game. So where is this last part? Oh, it's here. Oh, that's a, that's a statue. What am I yapping on about? Oh, I'm dumb, bro. I think it's all the way down here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, but yeah, pretty much right. This Easter egg just consists of doing like three challenges, then you're kind of like at the boss fight. It is dummy easy. Also, I'm getting stumped, right? Like, I'm lost. Me getting around the map here could be a little bit better. All right, I'm not going to deny it, but it's fine. It's not even a speedrun. I'm not submitting this. It's a speedrun for me. But now, nah, even this is like embarrassing for me, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. Let's head to the boat. Or, like, head to the island, I mean. Already on the boat. So after the world's
for it. Yeah, we're heading here. Here's Kevin. Like, what's good, bro? Throw a sausage at you or whatever. There you go. And lucky Kevin. Uh, but yeah, so now that we've talked to Kevin, we can head straight back because we need to go behind the rave. And there should be a picture back there, like a, a carp of a picture. There's some cheeky little rave jumps, bro. Look at the speed. This is one thing I do like about Infinite Warfare. It's like, look how fast you can move, bro. Now that we have the movement, like, perfected, no even near. I'm just, like, spazzing my mouse around like a bit of a dum dum. But, bro, some Infinite Warfare, like, Easter egg speedruns are actually insane. I remember watching quite a few, bro. They're actually really interesting. Okay, so yeah, we picked up the picture. It's cheeky little climbing frame. We'll be a little monkey. And then if I head down here, we can start the first challenge. And basically, the challenge is that we need to shoot the arms off of the zombies. So here we go. This gun is quite useful for it, right? Because I've got this, like, I guess it's like a thermal. And yeah, it kind of makes it a bit easier to, like, shoot the arms off. I mean, somehow I still miss because, you know, I'm just built different like that. I don't even question it. Bro, somehow I'm not hitting the arms. There you go, that won't work. I don't know where I need to aim. I mean, it, hopefully it won't take that many anyways. So we don't fail it. Bro, we actually managed to fucking fail it, bro. That's crazy. I don't know what perk I just lost there. Lost the perk, what perk it was. Honestly, your guess is actually as good as mine. I think it was Bang Bangs. I'm lucky, I'm gonna go buy that back. Actually, no, I can't. I just remembered. I'm pretty sure it's glitched. <laughs> so, like, if you do lose the perk, you just cannot buy it back. Okay, we're doing a bit better this time, though. I think, maybe. Uh, I might have spoke too soon. Oh, no, okay, we did it. Okay, perfect. So, let's inspect this. Obviously, the slash is gonna spawn. Oh, I don't wanna die. I really don't wanna die. Um, okay, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, let him do his charge attack. Oh my god, please fuck off. Oh my god, bro. I'm embarrassing myself at the moment. I actually don't even wanna talk about it. I mean, I'm pretty sure at least we're gonna get bang bangs back. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so, where is this slasher at? Is he still here? I think he is, but like, yeah, there he is. Yeah, let's just go ahead and mess you up real quick. Jesus Christ. All right, so let's pick up the picture. Now we need to return back to Kevin. Look, all right, again, we're gonna pretend like that never even happened because it didn't, all right? And if you say it happened, you're lying. Also, bro, where even is Quick Arrive? Like, it's actually not on the map. Where is it? Am I just dumb? Bro, I'm actually convinced that Up and Arms isn't on the map. No, it's here, bro. I'm so dumb. Definitely is not the fastest Easter egg on this game now when I'm playing it. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, but what we gotta do now is we gotta go talk to Kevin. So I'm gonna make my way back over there. So we gotta take the boat rider back over. I'm pretty sure the speedrun strat is something like you've got to get like this like teleport grenade thingy, which you do by I think just getting like kills from like a long distance or something like that. And then yeah, on, after your like first visit over there, you just throw one on the ground or something along those lines. I'm not actually 100 percent sure. Okay, but now that we're finally over here, let's go talk to Kevin. Go over the first half of the photograph. So bam, there you go. I'm gonna pop escape route. I don't know where I am now. All the way down here. I mean, this isn't an awful location to be fair because I'm pretty sure the next picture is all the way up by like jug, which is like above spawn. So you know, not awful. We take those. So yeah, it's right here. And this one takes place over by the rave. So head down here, place it down. And this one's a little bit easier, right? I'm not 100% sure what the challenge actually is, right? Because I used to hear it was explosions, but you can also just use the banshee to shoot off their legs and that counts as well. So bro, what it is unknown to me. But it doesn't even matter, right? Because we're about to get this anyway. As long as zombies actually spawn them. Because right now, I mean, there's not really a whole lot. Okay, keep getting in the kills. I think I want to shoot their little feeties. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's back. Make my way over here though. Oh my bro, why is he just so strong? Bro is not happy with me. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take him out, take him out. There we go, nice. Okay, so then we pick up this and we gotta make way back over to Kevin. So we get a lovely little boat ride over there again. Bro, there's a door up there. Now, where does that even lead? Now, hold up. Bro, I know that like we're trying to do this as like quick as we can, but what the fuck does that door even lead to? Like, what, you can go this way? Bro, what you can go? Okay, I actually did not know you can go up here. That seems so pointless. That seems so weird. Like, what is the point? of this. Alright, whatever. It's alright game. I, I just had faith in you the whole time. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take the boat over. And once again, I get to enjoy the scenery. Look, I won't lie though, this map actually is pretty good. Like, it gets a lot of shit, but if you haven't played it before, like, I highly recommend it. Alright, so what is good, Kevin? So there's only one more challenge we actually have to do. So first things first, we need to head down to where power is. But what fucking route I'm taking. I was going like the most obscure way, bro. But yeah, if we head down here, there should be a school just chilling right here. So there we go. And with that, we need to go over to the beach and we need to get headshots. So we can place it down there. And yeah, I think we can get headshots with this gun, but I'm not 100% sure. We're about to find out. Uh, yeah, it does seem to be working. If you know what it is, it's like the E-Rad. It's like a fucking laser gun. It's like some variant I've got on it. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's easy to get headshots with this gun rather than the Banshee. So, already finished with it. So, let's inspect that. Go ahead and mess him up. So, bam, that's already done. And we don't actually have to go this time to uh, to Kevin. All right, he's going to come to us. What we've got to do this time, right, is we need to head down to where power was and we need to hit a button. And this basically is like the last thing before the boss fight. Like, once we press this, we're locked into it. So, bam, done. So, if we head down here, yeah, now Kevin it should be just chilling in the boat what's good and then if we interact with it this is gonna start the boss fight oh okay he's, he's about to fall off the boat in a bit bro truly unlucky for Kevin yeah here we go boys this is the boss fight so basically right the way this boss fight works is we need to go over these like floating schools and we need to get kills until it floats so high up into the air that a fucking beam of light comes down from the heavens might have exaggerated that a little bit but essentially you need to get looking like that and I think there's two around the map so yeah there's another one just over here uh, yeah we gotta do both of these while the big slasher is on our ass I mean, to be fair, like, he's pretty easy to dodge. So we shouldn't have too many issues here. Oh, my... Okay, as as I say that, bro. As I say that.
attitude. Uh, but yeah, okay, so there's that done. So once you do both of them, right, we gotta bring Kevin over to this like little ritual thingy on the floor. I don't know why he's got feathers. Yeah, Kevin needs to make his way over to me. Oh, come on, big boy. Yep, you got it. Come on. Yep, a little bit further. There we go. So now he's done that. We've just gotta shoot him with the saw thingy. Oh my god. Uh, and yeah, that usually would take us out of rave mode, but I don't know why we're already out of it. Uh, and now what we've gotta do is we just need to like keep shooting him until we're just onto the next stage. So just keep blasting him. To be fair, what I can do right to help me out is I can pop this evade card. It's gonna help our movement a bit. So let's just keep focusing fire on him. We do need some ammo, so I'll just pick this up. Surely we're getting close to the end. Okay, there we go. Alright, so Kevin's tweaking. We just need to let him do his own thing, let him go, go over there. Uh, and then there should be two like green circles that appear on the floor. Yeah, and we need to stand in this, right? Otherwise we're gonna die. Then for some reason skeletons start popping up. Like bro popped in plain sight, did the fucking Derizon Drag skeleton Easter egg. But yeah, we just need to survive a little onslaught of these little bad boys. Uh, but yeah, we just need to survive a little onslaught of these guys. And then as soon as they stop spawning, yeah, there we go. We're onto the second stage. And now it's pretty much just like gonna repeat itself until the boss fight's over. Uh, but each time there's like new obstacles and stuff like that that like get in the way. So it's technically harder every single time. But essentially, like it's the same thing. So I am running kind of low on uh, ammo here. Okay, so there we go. The whole like beam there is done. See, on solo, it's not too bad, right? Because you don't have to do two of them. But on co op, it's a nightmare, bro. You get like four that you have to fill up. It's such a pain in the ass. But you gotta do that while like distributing the zombies out. Bro, do not catch me playing us on co op. Even though I'll do this any day of the week with Team Detective. But yeah, now that that's all done, oh, so you just gotta once again lead him into the circle. So come on, Kevin. Stop playing around with me. See, whenever I hear the word Kevin, I just think of like Kevin from uh, from Home Alone. I don't know why, bro. Uh, but yeah, so once again, all we've gotta do is just like keep shooting them. But this evade card is actually massive. I actually forgot just how good it is. It even like kills zombies. Just a goaded fate and fortune card. Oh, okay. I think that's him done. Yeah, okay. Here come the swords. One of these do not hit me because if it hit me, I'm dead. But yeah, with that done, just gotta do the skeletons one more time. And I think after this, we should be able to kill him. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, here we go. So let's just fill these up one final time and then let's put an end to Kevin's rampage. Alright, so come on, zombies. Speed up a little bit. Okay, so there's that one done. So we just have this one over here left. Oh my god, Kevin, we're back away. I'm not even playing around with you right now. Uh, okay, yeah, but that's it done. Let's just bring him into here. Come on, Kevin. You got a broski G star. Oh my god. Okay, so there we go. Shoot him. And then, yeah, I think we just gotta do this one more time and then eventually, right, instead of taking this into the green mode, it'll just be like vulnerable to kill. So we're getting very, very close now. Just make sure I don't die at the very last fucking part of the Easter egg. Oh, okay, so there we go. So he's not gonna put this into green mode, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, right, is I'm gonna pop this scratch post fate and fortune card, which is gonna give us the claw. And then, oh, bro, we're just gonna destroy him. Like, we're just gonna go to actual town on this little boy. So a little bit of shooting, and there we go, he's dead. And as soon as the cutscene plays, which hopefully will be any second now, maybe any second now, hello? Hey, are you, are you, are you good? Oh, here we go, right, I gotta pick up the soul key. And uh, yeah, with that, that is the Raven the Redwoods Easter egg done. I mean, it took us 31 minutes. It definitely should not have taken us 31 minutes. Like, I think realistically, it should have took us like 20 something minutes, but look, all right, there was a little bit goofing about, a little bit of uh, trolling from the game. So I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, and instead, we're just gonna move straight onto our next Easter egg for this video. All right, then, boys, so here we are, Rumble World 2, and now hear me out, okay? I know a lot of you guys may be like, Jake, this is scummy, okay? Like, come on. You said that we're doing the, the shortest Easter eggs on every single game, and you're gonna do a survival map. Are you serious, bro? Like, this is just like Doris. Right, now look, okay, first things first, I actually hate World War 2 zombies, all right? I despise it. I think it's actually the worst game to ever come out of this entire franchise. Plus, I'm still in the process of actually, like, trying to force myself and to, like, learn all of these Easter eggs, so the only one I know is the final right, which I think would still be the uh, shortest Easter egg in, in the entire game, but, you know, if you wanna watch that Easter egg, there is uh, quite a lot of other videos that you guys can go watch on my channel that have that Easter egg in it. So, you know, be like, all right, you know what, Jake, that's fine. So why are you on this map? Okay, well, you see, there is an Easter egg. So not only open up this door right here, which lets you get to the mystery box, which is right there, but there's also an Easter egg to get pack a punch to weapons, right? Now that's the one we're going to be doing. So it's kind of like the giant and Doris, but it's a little bit more useful. Yes. Yeah, so first things first, we're just going to gather up a bunch of points. Typical COD zombies like shenanigans, you know? Then I suppose we'll also work on opening up that door that has the mystery box in it. So what we got to do, right, is we've got to come around the map and shoot these lanterns until they have like this purple glow in them. So there's one there, there's another one here. Now some of these are hidden outside the map, so it does get a little bit tricky, but look, all right, I'm him, all right, I've got eagle eyes. Never again in my life will I be saying I'm him, by the way. Uh, but yeah, there's this one here, which I believe we've just shot. Bro, why is this at the ramp up already, bro? It's round three. I'm actually trying to start. Uh, but yeah, there's another one right there. Obviously, I think there's one there. Another one right there. One right there. Another one right here. Now this is kind of where the issues are going to start arising, okay? Because I don't really know if I've shot all of them. Well, I clearly haven't because the doors are open, but like, you know what I mean. I don't know where the missing ones are. So we're just going to look around the map and see if we can find them. There'll be somewhere else on the map, all right? I know that much for a fact. Obviously, what sucks is that I just can't see anything. Okay, where are you hiding? Like, game, you can't trick me, bro. I know that it's somewhere outside the map. Hey, there's one there, which I just could not see because of how dark it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's open. Nice, boys. First Easter egg complete. Popping off right now. Uh, but yeah, so what we got to do now, right, is we've got to get the Jack in the Boxes out the box. And now this is where a
first like four or five box spins. So if I don't get it, I'm going to get a little bit upset. MSRJ is not looking good for you, bro. I'm going to be real. Look, we both live in the UK. So I mean, you know, just keep, keep your windows shut. Oh, okay. Never mind, Mr. JD. You're safe, bro. You're actually safe. You're good. I do like that they did that, though. They kind of made it so within the first five box hits, you'll at least always get it. I, I like that, bro. You see, World War II, actually, you know, first W. Uh, but yes, now that we got that, you see that card up there. We need to throw a jack of the box to land on the pillar. So there we go. And you just got to wait for it to explode. And if we've done it correctly, the card should disappear. But yeah, I think it's gone. Uh, so apparently, all there is left to do now is just get 10,000 points. And after doing it, we should then have pack punch weapons in the box. Now, I'm sure some people are thinking, like, look, that's a bit of a scam in it. Well, it's not really, because essentially you're paying 10,000 points every single weapon you get out of the mission box from that point on to be packaged. So it's like, it's like a long-term investment. That's a scam right fucking there, though. Like, that is a straight-up scam. Like, I can't believe they just did that to me. Uh, but yeah, we're already at 4,000 points, so we're not too far away from being done. See, if I was to think of, like, the few wins that World War II zombies took, I do like how they had uh, quite a few survival maps, right? Like, that's the one thing I'll always criticize Cold War for, is that we only got four maps, which I think is the lowest amount of maps we had ever had on a zombies game from Treyarch, right? And it is getting kind of annoying that that seems to be like the norm at the moment, like with Vanguard as well. I also only had four maps on launch. So not on launch, bro, like in its entire life cycle. And Modern Warfare 3, obviously, I think we're still on the same map. Not really a whole lot going on with that. So yeah, it is the one thing that is kind of annoying me. Like, I feel like you could at least spawn in with like two maps, right? Like, I feel like you could at least start your game's life cycle off with two maps. Like, people really did it perfect, yeah? Because it had Shadows of Evil, which was the complicated map that once you learn what to do with it, it's quite rewarding. Then if you didn't want to learn it or you were just like brain dead, you could go play the giant, which to be fair, most people wouldn't play it anyways, just for like leveling up guns and like XP and stuff like that. You know, it was a nice thing for the community because they didn't have to sit there and play one map over and over again, even if it was just a remake, you know? And back to why I dislike Cold War for that reason. Cold War only comes out with one map. It took literally forever, it felt like, to get Firebase Z, which was the second map. Then they whipped up Outbreak, which, bro, in my opinion, is barely even a mode because it's just Fireteam Dirty Bob maps and like the most dookie little objectives. Then to top it off, right, we had Forsaken at the very end of Cold War's life cycle and they literally made like a mini game of Nactar and Toad right so you'd think and I remember there being rumors about this you'd think right if they already have like this version of Nactar and Toad not like fully ready like it's not perfect or anything like that but they have it all modeled out you would think right they would just turn Nactar and Toad into a survival map but no they never do why didn't they do that I have no idea actually still baffles me to this day obviously I mean it's Nactar and Toad but at least it would be something you know what I mean yeah okay enough of me ranting we've got 11,000 points if I come over here we can just put it into there uh, and now I believe every Every single weapon in the mystery box would be pack a punched. So let's just get one real quick. So there we go. And yeah, as you can see, it is nice and pack a punched. So 12 minutes is what it took us. I mean, not awful. So what is this thing shooting out? See, that's something I need to like actually put time into learning if I want to like try and actually beat these Easter eggs. Is that the guns when you pack a punch them get like special effects? And I have no idea what half of them do. Like I was live streaming World War 2 the other day, and like some people in my chat were just waffling on about like what their very favorite like variants were. And I was like, what do you even mean? See, I need to learn what half these do. But yeah, that is the World War 2 zombies Easter egg. I'm doing for this video. I'm telling you, bro, someday I'm going to beat all the World War 2 zombies Easter egg and it's going to go crazy. But yeah, with that, let's just go ahead and waste no more time and jump straight onto our next Easter egg for this video. All right, boys, so on to Black Ops 4, we have got Classified, all right? Now, you might be thinking, Jake, how can you say Classified is the shortest Easter egg when you have to get to round 150? Now, if you've been around on the channel or if you've watched a few of my other videos, you'll know that I don't consider the round 150 Easter egg as the main Easter egg, okay? Because it's just a stupid quest. Plus, the game is still quite unstable, so I don't even know if you can really get to 150. Uh, without the risk of it crashing. So what myself and many other people have considered the main easter egg quest on Classified is the free Winner's Howl easter egg. Now, again, you could be like, you know what, Jake? I I'm raging, all right? I'm a little bit upset. Honestly, I feel a bit betrayed. And if you feel that way, then, uh, then that's truly just unlucky. But I give you guys a proposition. If this video somehow gets 1,000 likes, I'll go ahead and get the Classified round 150 easter egg on stream. All right, so that's the big deal. So look, boys, make it happen. And then as soon as I do it, I'll, I'll start streaming it. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're going to be doing the Winner's Howl easter egg because since I'm considering that like the kind of like the main easter egg quest it is the shortest easter egg in this game so yeah let me go ahead and open up the entire map really quick so I'll open up here and hopefully i'm quick because i need to open up this door and then this door down here as well so there we go that's pretty much the entire map opened up so if you don't know how to do this easter egg essentially you've got to go around the map collecting four different like key codes and then you input them into a computer and once you do that you go to no man's land you spend like three rounds waiting then bam you're able to pick up your witness health it's pretty simple so we can actually get our first key card here so we just need to throw like one of these acid bombs back there uh, and it should which it's not doing for some reason okay why is that not working kind of concern but yeah it should have made a code appear i'll come back to that one though so yeah, what i'll also do is i'll start picking up all of these parts around the map since that's going to allow us to teleport all the way to area 51 oh okay apparently even start collecting the codes you need to come over here first and get the key now i thought you could just pick this up in any order 
like i don't think you had to do that first but you know what the more you know so yeah while we're here actually we can go ahead and get ourselves another code so all we gotta do is we need to interact with these defcons in a certain order so that one's first the one down here in the server room is second so there we go and it's this one here and then it's just this one down here at the bottom so bam that's gonna open up to the original pack bench location and i believe if i interact with like this tv yeah we're gonna get a code for kino the totem so that's 2034 okay nice now also gives us the part here which is gonna let us teleport over to an area 51 so big plays also now that i've picked up that key if i throw an acid grenade back there it should make this appear there we go okay so that's shangri la and it's 9562 okay so the last two codes we need to get are both up here so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and build this so there we go and then what i've got to do now is i've got to look like a draw so what did i just pick up okay okay i'm just gonna like pretend i didn't pick that up but yeah we've got to look for a draw now that we can use that key on and if we find the right one we should get another code so which one even is it okay here we go so that's Darice, and it was 8361 oh bro you are joking you know what just get out of my way so yeah the final one to get we're gonna need a pack range weapon so we'll just buy this essex for now and we need to shoot these plaques in a certain order so i think it's like middle left right no okay never mind so it's one three two and then four and there we go so it's nine four four nine and that one is shino numa so now that we've got all four of the codes we need to go put them into the big computer so let's make our way back down here with that portrait like whole step thing is so like it's just so wrong on all the guides right like ign has a guide it's just like it's just not right actually bizarre but yeah let's go ahead and enter in these codes so it's the shino numa code first so which is nine four four nine so there we go then it's darice so that's eight three six one so there we go then we've got to do shangri-la which is nine five six two so there we go and the final one we have to do is kina which is two zero three four so there we go and now that we've done that they got a lot project scotty uh, retrieved or whatever it is I actually cannot speak english at the moment bro no i'm gonna go ahead and hit the box you are okay and get we got the what daemon 3xb bro like this gun like in what war is this gun even good i don't think it is i've never used it like i never used it for long in like four seconds when i get it out of the box you know what? i guess we're taking it in with us it is only round three so we need to get to round seven look right i don't know about you guys but i think we should be okay yeah now that we're in no man's land just gotta do three rounds and then that is the entire easter egg complete so while i was looking up like what the portrait order was i came across a mr rock waffles guy bro i can't lie okay his guide for this map bro it, it's not it bro like i'll be honest like it's the one time he took it out bro i'll honestly by the way like he could be going bold soon like he made a tweet saying like should he get a haircut or not and then someone photoshopped him bold and i think he actually is considering it we need to find out the answers though also when it comes to like the round 150 on classified is the strategy different nowadays or is it still just like sit in a corner with a shield and then just hope for the best because i remember right when i used to do that strategy like i, I tried it once all the way uh, back on P like ps4 bro right and whenever i try it like i'd always run out of points because you have to keep rebuying like ammo for the shield and it gets fucking expensive so i don't know if the strategy's changed or not like i don't know if the helion salvo is like the main weapon in the map i don't know i'll do some research and then obviously if this video hits a thousand likes i'll stream myself doing it i'm not looking forward to it actually no unless you guys are going to give me a load of donations and you guys are going to stack me up with the money <laughs> but look right i'm a man of my word okay so if we do get a thousand likes bro i'll boot it up same day but yeah as you guys can see we've got ourselves the winner's howl for 17 minutes i won't like the winner's howl actually looks cool in this game like i don't know what they did to it but i don't know it just looks a lot cooler but i do actually wonder like is the winner's howl in this game like statistically better than the one from bo1 right because the one in bo1 is actually so dookie so is this one better i'd assume it would be but by how much because one of my finest experiences right was playing uh classified on i think it's casual mode where you get like more health and the zombies don't do as much damage and like, you do more damage and stuff like that but on casual this thing just like melts the zombies i do a little deep dive but yeah either way that is classified done but was there like a main easter egg with this or like an easter egg quest with this i actually have no idea but yeah we're classified out the way that also marks the end of bo4 so, so yeah you know let's just waste no more time and jump straight onto the next game for this video right then boys so on to cold war now i was debating like what easter egg i wanted to put here and i was thinking either between this easter egg forsaken or a uh, d machine but i ended up going with outbreak 2 because like this easter egg is just incredibly short like i'm not even playing bro like the longest part is getting to round three yeah i think like forsaken is like a, like a hard second place bro like that easter egg is so short literal tyler one levels of short bro like it's insane like if forsaken is tyler one outbreak 2 is like civil hd you know what i mean like they're tiny i need to make fun of someone that isn't civil like he takes it as a joke i feel like one day he's just gonna snap you know like he gives those like school shooter vibes but yeah let's just head over to the objective now i could skip to round three which would be a little bit quirky a little bit goofy but honest to god is it the play like it would speed up like massively but then i'd be kind of underpowered oh big big debate big thoughts you know what yeah i'm gonna do it i'm, I'm feeling a bit quirky all right well let's head over here i'll just gotta take out this little geek i swear this guy is also one of the bosses in modern warfare 3 i could be wrong though yeah now we gotta go on the chase so let's head over here okay never mind i guess I guess the zombies literally just said like nah not today bro okay now let's head over here 
here. See, luckily, right, this purple M16 is actually slapping up these zombies. Oh my god, hold on. Oh, oh get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, no, 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 this ain't good. This ain't good. Bro, I actually thought. Right, never mind. Right, we got him down to a second stage. Okay, where's he flying off to this time? He's going all the way over there. Alright, we're hopping on the boat. Okay, now hear me out. What if? Oh, come on, peek, bro. Oh, don't be like this. Come on. I think I could do it. I think I can kill him from all the way over here. Would it have just been faster if just like gone over and killed him? Probably. We don't talk about that, all right? Look, I, I do things a little bit different. I do things a little bit quirky, right? You guys know me. I'm different to the normal human being. Okay, so let's just like... Oh, okay, bro decided he wants to like catch the smoke. What's good, bro? All right, unlucky. He's dead. Okay, so here we go. Activate the beacon. We've got 7,000 points. So let's just pack a bunch once. And then, yeah, we'll just go to the next tier. So I'm going to press warp, but then I'm going to like shoot this thing and then it's going to break. And that should take us all the way over to world three. Okay, so here we go. World three. So we need to go around the map now and look for like a red rift. Oh my God, bro, you are actually... Okay, we're just going to... We're going to restart, okay? Because apparently if you do happen to get teleported to the sanatorium on round three, uh, there's no red rift that uh, appear. So I uh, fuck my life, I guess. And right, then here we go, boys. All right, so I'm back. We're going to world three. Where is it going to send me, bro? I swear to God, it sends me back to sanatorium, bro. I'm actually... Bro, are you, are you tripping, bro? I'm, 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 conf I'm confused. I'm confused, I'm confused right, right now, G. I, I, I'm actually that fucking speechless, bro. Like, actually that speechless. You know what? I'm not even going to bother restarting. I'm just going to, like, go to the next round. I, I can't... I, I physically cannot even believe that, bro. I'm confused. Once, like, I understand, bro, but two times in a row. Bro, and we got the fucking escort quest. It's so over, bro. Oh, it is so Jova. Speechless, bro. Fucking speechless. Bro, how far away are we from this thing? Honestly, I've been walking for, like, 15 minutes. Fucking up, finally, as well. We got, like, a, like a motorbike. All right, let's just start this escort quest, which is going to take, actually, like, 10 minutes. But what is going on, Cold War, bro? Like, come on. Why are you lagging, bro? Actually, no reason to be lagging. Oh, bro, I hate this game, bro, so much. Oh, and there's an order. You are you are playing, bro. Don't, don't see me. Don't see me. I'm just going to let you be. What's good, monkey? Yo, this monkey's the G, bro. He's the only thing that's keeping me in this game right now. Also, keep it the note, right, when we started this. So we started this around nine minutes. When are we going to finish up this quest? I'm telling you, bro. Like, it's it's a solid seven minutes. Like, this is just unlucky. Like, I don't think words can truly describe how much I hate this stupid, like, objective. I hate it. And hate is a strong word. Okay, here we go, right? So he's going into the first pole. That's right, all right. If you don't know this objective, I said first pole. Because you don't have to do this just once. You don't even have to do it just twice. You have to do it three times. Three times. Criminal. Actually criminal. All right, so let's head back over here. We've lost our monkey, unfortunately. What is this? A coffee machine. Lucky monkey. All right, let's just keep pushing forward. Our disciple. Unlucky, he's dead. All right, there we go. There's the second one done. So we have one more after this. So in a bit, coffee machine. Well, yeah, you are definitely a coffee machine, aren't you? Yeah, a bit random, but you know, it's all right. Yeah, so there we go. All right, third one. Hopefully, it's the last one as well. Oh, bro, I actually cannot wait to get off of this. We do have a nuke, so we'll pick that up if uh, things get a little bit too crazy over here on the outbreak battlefield, because, you know, there's a lot of zombies right now. A bit dramatic. Oh, there it is. We deal with all the disciples, hopefully without dying. And th there we go. I think that's finally the end of the objective, right? It didn't take 16 minutes like I thought. Look, all right, it did take a while. So let's just go take the anomaly so we can actually do the first ever Easter egg, which I should have been doing by now. Game, just want to let you know that. I'm not doing that stupid objective either, but all the objectives in the outbreak suck as well. Like, they're all, like, pointless. I think the only one that's actually useful is this one here at the top, because it gives you a free perk. But outside of that, like, actually useless, bro. The rest of them sucks. So here we go. Activate the beacon. Uh, I'm going to pack a bunch of my gun to level two. So there we go. And uh, let's just go. So we can get level three armor. So huge, right? We're not doing too bad. There we go. We're getting teleported to Ruka. Okay, so it says uh, the red pole is in a small shack at the old farm. But where is that? Your guess is actually as good as mine. Like, so specific. All right, well, I found another one anyways, like another guide. And it says it's uh, all the way over here. Well, let's make the run. Now, the only issue we're like really having is that by the time we finish up this Easter egg, it's going to be round five. And I am a little bit worried that like a level two pack won't cut it. You know, what can you do? I actually haven't do this in ultra hard mode because the game just hates me. But yeah, somewhere around here, I think, could be where the red rift is. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's head through here. So uh, bam. So all we got to do now is just keep going through these red rifts. So there's no one right there. So bam, there we go. Next one is right there. So a uh, bam right through it. And then where's the last one? Oh, it's over there. Can't really see it. Bam, there we go. So yeah, now what's going to happen is it's going to summon this like device and we need to chase this down. So a uh, bam, there we go. Pick up that. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure now we need to go do the objective. So let's go spend three minutes in the hold. Out. Oh, there we go. See, there's a custom map called Vay Victus, which does the hideouts so much better, by the way, because they give you the option of putting on a rampage inducer, which obviously makes it harder, but it cuts the time in half. So instead of you having to wait like three minutes, right, you have to wait like a minute and a half. Right, like such a good change. I don't get how Treyarch just can't do these things. And I'm meant to get excited for this year's COD, bro. Like, I I'm giddy, bro, from the fuck it all up. All right, I'm just gonna sit right here, look at my monkey and Stalin, like, what is good, guys? Yeah, you know, we're just gonna have a nice little relaxing uh, little holdout. Because I mean, there's basically like no zombies show up, by the way, like, this whole hideout. So I'm not even worried about getting overrun like that's how sad this is bro i've been watching so many like reddit stories like you know like those text-to-speech ones that have like 
like Minecraft in the background or whatever. Like, I know they're all fake, but I'm so, like, intrigued, bro. Like, I just need to watch it. And bro, the, the stories get crazy, you know? Like, there are some dodgy ones on there, but, uh, bro, some of the stuff gets wacky. Like, on the off chance that they are real, bro, it makes you, like, question the relationships that other people have with each other, bro. Like, I, I, it actually is baffling me. Like, this one right here, right, was apparently someone's cousin gave them, like, their, their rusted old bike, like, literal pile of shit, gave it to their cousin, but I think for free. And the cousin, like, repairs it, like, you know, like, gives it a new paint job, put some WD-40 on the change, you know, some real engineer stuff. And the cousin sees it, and he's like, you know what, I want that back now. She scammed me. And I'm like, what? I'm thinking, like, bro, what? Like, how, how are you even going around life with that mentality, bro? Actual wacky stuff. Yeah, I, I've been, like, addicted to Reddit stories. Plus, a YouTuber I didn't watch back in the day, but now, like, his, his stories are getting a little bit too addicting, is uh, Ray William Johnson. Bro, I don't know what it is, bro, but the story, they're just interesting. I'm intrigued. All right, I'm a little learner. I'd like to see uh, what the beef is, you know, I like the drama. Look, bro, I'm gonna start beef with more of the zombies community, and then maybe I'll be featured on a Reddit <laughs> story time video. Okay, but yeah, so let me go ahead and buy some perks. Uh, and then, is there anything else I wanna do? I might buy this grapple gun, because just why not? The grapple gun's funny. Uh, and then, I think we're just good to go. So, we gotta respond back to Weaver. Oh, Ravenoff, sorry, my bad. Mixed up my characters. Bro, Ravenoff thinks he's a sick, but he's definitely gooning, bro, in that picture. I'm telling you. But yeah, so let's go to the next objective, like warp to the next area, and it should take us back to Sanatorium. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be lost. I'm gonna be baffled. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, so now that we're here, not here in the best time, I won't lie, like 27 minutes, kind of an hour. But uh, what can you do, bro, when the game requires you to have to go to Wayfall and gives you some of the worst little objectives? But all right, that's in the past, okay? As long as I beat it, don't even care. If you don't get unlucky like me, then this is still the shortest Easter egg. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I haven't even got the money to buy this. That's actually embarrassing. So what we gotta do now, right, is we need to look for a crashed helicopter, and I'm pretty sure it's like all the way over here. Yeah, okay, look, because you can see the smoke. This map is so dark. Like, I'm just looking at OBS. Yeah, what's a good Kranzi soldier? I don't feel like messing around with you. Yeah, here we go, all right? We're at the crash helicopter. He's secure the crash site, so we need to take out all the big bads. So we actually do need to deal with this little bad boy. So in a bit, see, he would be dead by now if I wasn't on fucking wave five. Okay, so is that the site secured? Uh, yeah, okay, nice. We've got to play that. So once we've done that, we need to look around the map for a red orb. Right, and I'm pretty sure all we've got to do is just like keep shooting it till it goes towards the bridge. So I'm pretty sure it could spawn down here. Uh, I don't see it, so it's not there. Okay, that's fine. It could be over here in this whole area. So yeah, there it is. So what we've got to do is we need to shoot it towards the bridge. So let's jump down here and shoot it that way. So there we go. So now that it's there, got to shoot it like that way. So there we go. And then it's now there. I think if I just shoot it from here, it should go towards the bridge. So yeah, very nice. I'm not too sure if we need to go over there with it, but I might as well just go double check. Oh, what, what? oh my God. I, bro, speechless. Actually speechless. Uh, but yeah, basically like it won't go in the cage. So we need to go around the map and find the broken mystery box. Then we can pick up the toy or like the bunny little bowl thingy. And then they'll go into the cage. So where is that going to be? Because there do be kind of a few locations. I know of like two locations off like the top of my head. So if they're not there, then it's not looking good for us. So yeah, this is just a normal location. So we can't pick up that uh, bunny for some reason, you know, game law. Just let it cook. So yeah, the other location I'm thinking of is all the way up here. So let's have a look. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Nice. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Like at least interact with it. Then we're going to do a little dance. And I'm pretty sure all we got to do is just kill like all the zombies that appear. And then we'll be able to pick it up. But we can't do anything against these armor zombies, by the way. Like, I don't know what it is, but they are tanked up. Round five really do be hitting different. Okay, so there we go. So let's pick it up. What are we going to get? A golden DMR or dead wire? Sure, I'll put that on my M16. A child's note. Give that to Rosso for a birthday present. Uh, and then all we got to do now is just head over to the bridge. So let's hop on this bike here and let's just make our way over there. All right, what's good, boys? Place that in there. Okay, so that thing's gone in there now. And are we able just to go? I think we might be. Okay, we've got to listen to the recording first. Okay, now, this bit could be a little bit squeaky, all right? But I believe. Now, the only reason I'm like slightly worried is that it's just going to be a lot of zombies. And at the end of this, we do need to fight an order. Okay, I just thought I'd like go right off the edge there. Oh, why am I dying? Okay, it's fine. Bro, can you stop talking? There we go. All right, so let's make a move. I don't really think there was anything else we could get set up with because there's no way we'd get 30k points. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go for it. And all right, the only thing that I'm like really worried about is like the heavy zombies. That's kind of it. We should be able to take care of everything else. And we do have PhD, which is still like kind of OB. So right, let's make sure we're using that. Bro, this thing actually could not move any slower. I'm pretty sure it ends once we get to that big building all the way over there. So let's just keep moving. I'm not even playing. Like PhD is actually saving me right now. It just one shots everything. This dead wire on this M16 is like really good against the disciples. So that was like really lucky to get that. Yeah, like, look at this, bro. Like all these zombies, unlucky. Okay, that was like the worst side in the entire world. But yeah, like, like it just kind of destroys them. Oh, okay, there we go. So that's blew up. So now we just need to head over there. So let's use our grapple hook and just like head all the way to the top. And the, oh no, boys, the scientists that nobody knew about are dead. Oh my god. Alright, it's just devastating news. But it's no worries, right? Because we're pretty much at the end of the Easter egg now. This took 40 minutes. That's crazy, bro. Like this should not have taken 40 minutes. Uh, but yeah, basically down there is where we're gonna exfil. So as soon as they stop talking, like, bro, why is it taking so long? Because I moved away. I'm just like still walking. Like, come on, I see them, bro. I found them. They're dead. Oh, it's because this thing's still talking. Like, stop. Bro, the out like the Cold War story is just the like most boring story in the whole world.
I don't know who they were getting excited for this, but all right, here we go. Which is about to blow these guys all up. See you later. Unlucky. Here we go. So there's a mimic now, and we got to take out all 34 hostiles in five minutes. Now I know it's gonna sound like I'm like, oh, you know, oh, what was the challenge? Blah blah blah. Now this actually could be kind of difficult because again, it is round five, and I've got a level two pack a bunch of weapon. Uh, I'm just gonna focus all the zombies first, and then we'll target the order. I think that's the play here. Plus I've got no armor as well, which is kind of upsetting. Oh, bro, what ha what what even happened? Oh, there's a megaton. No worries, I'll just go fuck myself. Oh my god, you are actually joking. Okay, I'm killing a zombie. No, I actually cannot kill a zombie. Like, it is physically not possible. I mean, uh, oh, bro, I'm losing jug now. Oh, bro. This is not ending well. Oh, this is not ending well. Okay, you know what? Pop in Ring of Fire. We're gonna have to take out that Megaton real quick. Bro, why are they sprinting like that? Yo! Bro, actually back away, please. Bro, the hand cannon do kind of be doing a lot of damage to him, though. Okay, hold up. But that hand cannon put us back in the chance. All right, put us back in the ringer. All we gotta do is just take out this Megaton bomber, bro. And then we can, like, we can work with the rest. I mean, yes, I'm currently not in the greatest position. Oh, it's over. It's over, bro. Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do now. Oh, unlucky. Unless I can magically get like some kind of kill. This guy is my only only option here. Never mind. He's actually walking away from me. All right. Well, essentially, what we've learned today is outbreak is dog shit, and that uh, I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to play. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, he's actually so low. Come back here. Oh, we're up. We're back in the game. Almost like I never even left. Okay, hold up, bro. Let me cook. Let me cook, Re bro. Okay, so uh, yeah, fuck outbreak. I hate this game. Uh, yeah, I don't even care. I'm moving on to the next game. Right then, and our final Easter egg for this video, we've got Vanguard, uh, and the map I chose is Duran Fang because you can literally beat this easter egg in about what, I don't know, like 25 minutes so yeah i mean compared to like terra maledicta like that takes like 40 minutes because just how much like talking there is shionuma takes at least over an hour and the archon also takes about over an hour so uh, easily the shortest easter egg in this game i mean it's kind of an easter egg it's not really though at the same time but uh, yeah this is the one we're going to be doing so our first challenge is that we need to deposit rune stones i mean not an awful challenge to be fair i mean we do have to do it three times which is kind of annoying but to be honest not my least favorite challenge this shit is still better than the escort quest on fucking outbreak i have beef with that i'm not even playing yeah okay there we go there's the first one done now we've got to do it again up here like the only thing that annoys me about this quest is like i just don't like how like it's kind of like a chance for the things to drop right like that just annoys me obviously it would be like too easy if they always drop but okay, i need something to complain about if it like just wasn't as rare uh but yeah either way there is the second one done so we have one more that we've got to do one zombie just drop me the rune stones there we go okay we need one more and there we go so let's go ahead and deposit all of these and just like that that is the objective complete but i actually wish this easter egg was just slightly better like at least if it gave you a reward or like i don't know some kind of like ending into it like it just ends so abruptly essentially like this green portal just appears and then just that's it it's just the end of the easter egg and it's just like okay no worries bro oh but yeah let me come up here let me go ahead and buy jug then we'll go over here and i'll activate this portal since we do need to go in this area not like right now but at some point in the easter egg we do need to come down this way so i want to get all of these done first right because one of the objectives we do need to do basically just puts us forward like three rounds so i'd rather do all of these like kind of out the way ones first also we're not doing them after the round skip yeah, where are the rest of these runes down here oh, where are they at actually trying to find them bro nowhere to be seen okay there's one over here it's just the one so it's like where are the other five i mean to be fair right like if you do fail this quest it's like no repercussions you have to fight a few zombies and then that's it but i might be capping here but i also think you might get like a bonus for getting all of them bro it's in here this is the worst location to do this by the way this one sucks like it doesn't even feel like this is my fault like like where the fuck are they i think this one was just all you designed bro there's actually there's actually no more like, i'm not even playing like i wish i was capping but i'm not that's just fucking stupid but whatever what can you do like there actually isn't any that's wacky bro that's bizarre uh, but yeah as you can see this is kill all remaining zombies we have to kill 22 zombies like wow what a challenge games actually got me on the edge right now but you can go all the way down here bro this is definitely where the other runes were that's crazy bro that that's insane bro they were expecting you to come all the way down here that's wild i'm actually speechless about that also i mean we technically have all the perks but bro i'm gonna be real the tier one perks actually don't do anything okay so now that we've done those we need to go this way so let's do this objective next okay we just got another harvest one i was kind of hoping for like an escort step but i guess this one will do all right give me all the runes there you go there's five out of five so let's go fill up this one and we're back to collecting see i don't really mind the vanguard quest like the objective sorry like they're not awful like compared to cold war like i don't know i, I sometimes feel like they're a bit more engaging like for example right I, I keep going back to it like look at that escort step like, all i did was just stand by this like rover for what like six minutes five minutes or something like that and that was it like the zombies weren't difficult like the objective itself wasn't very hard just boring i mean the only thing i really have against like the vanguard objectives is like obviously there can be a few repeats because i don't think they added that many more to this game uh, but yeah so there is that one done anyways in like, this whole objective okay so so let me go ahead and pack a bunch of my weapon just so we got a pretty strong gun then we've got to do this objective next so this is a blitz where are they even taking me bro hotel royale or royal just sort of like victory royale for a second there but where even am i oh this is a stupid extract step okay now oh, we just gotta wait two minutes at least it's not like three and a half minutes bro like it is in uh in cold war i'll give it that thank god they lowered the time down because i like to think that like vanguard had potential like the more i play it like don't get me wrong like it is a pretty bad game but in some ways it also improves on what cold war like did wrong for example right like if this was going to be out 
at least this game has original like outbreak maps. Outbreak in Cold War is literally just the fire team dirty bomb maps from Wii Player, which is so lazy. So right, like at least this game did that. I think I kind of like the engine a little bit more than Cold War. I don't know. That might be a little bit weird to say. Like like obviously this game is made off the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. I actually really like that engine. Like it plays kind of well. But when it comes to like zombies, like I don't even think it's that bad. But I feel like if this game got like more round based maps and it kind of had the same type of like seasonal stuff as Cold War in a way, where like they focus more on the round base and then had like one big thing for outbreak. I feel like that would have been so much better. Yeah, that does everything like wrong. Like it does like the perk system wrong. Like I hate the perk system in this game. It's so dumb. It also goes to Cold War, but I hate the pack a punch system as well. Like the new one they've got where you have to do it three times. It's just so like it's just so dumb. Because when you got that combined with the perks, it gets so expensive. If you down, like you just lose so much progress. It's just not fun. Like I won't lie, I think Cold War and Vanguard are like two of the worst Call of Duty Zombies games we've had in so long. And I know it's gonna like be a little bit controversial because a lot of people actually say that Cold War is really good. Bro, I hate it. Like I actually really don't like it. They got so lazy with zombies like in the last recent years. Like even when you look at like Cold War's maps, right? I'm pretty sure the only map that isn't just straight up ripped from the campaign is D Machine. And that's it. I think Five AC is kind of like a little bit more original, but then Mowers, I think it's just from the campaign, and then Forsaken is just straight up taken from the campaign. And they turned Forsaken into a multiplayer map as well. So they literally reuse the same like campaign mission for multiplayer and also zombies. Like that's actually crazy amounts of lazy. Then you got Vanguard, which is obviously just lazy. I mean, look at the Archon of Terra Maledicta, like straight up just the same map. It is the most boring and sad looking map as well. And don't even be started on Modern Warfare 3 zombies. Like that's just it's like a taboo, right? You just don't talk about that. See, this is why I feel really bad for saying it, but I'm just not looking forward to this year's Call of Duty like that much. Like I want to, I really want to be like hyped up for it and be like, yo, let's go boys, we're gonna pop off. But like after three years of just dog shit Call of Duty, even when they say, oh yeah, we've had four years of development, how much of our time has realistically been put to zombies? That's what I actually want to know because I feel like they're gonna focus more on like multiplayer and like Warzone this year rather than zombies because they always put zombies last. I think the only game where zombies has been put like higher up was fucking Black Ops 3. Like that, that's crazy. All right, enough of me ranting anyways, all right, because I'm trying to do an Easter egg. Uh, basically, yeah, so once we completed that whole like holdout objective, whatever it was, uh, it opened up to like the office area. And the, with that, we had to take the portal that takes us all the way to Shinonuma. And then basically we just need to stay here for like, I think three rounds until this portal down here opens up. Uh, and then we're able to leave. Also, we just got a pack wrench weapon. Huge, I'll take that. Never mind, it's actually cheeks. Yeah, I think this is our last round anyways. So we're nearly done. Because after this, like I'll be honest, there's really not that much left to do. I think it's just a few dialogues, then that's it. I'm not even joking. So there we go, that's the end of the round. This portal opens up, so we're just leaving. And I think that's going to be a cheeky little cutscene. Because the void cannot be defeated for now. Do we actually ever defeat the void? I don't know. I actually have no idea. We've got a load of points. We're up to 28,000. Yeah, here we go. Right, we get this like little uh, cutscene, as you can say. I mean, it's, it's basically just a PowerPoint slide. Like, it's just something you do in Photoshop. Just zoom in. Like, Vegas. It's actually like crazy, bro. But there you go. Like, little jump scare. Oh, scary. Okay, so yeah. So what we need to do now is we need to come up here and we need to interact with this door and speak the crap. Right, and now that we've done that, he's going to just talk for a bit about like pretty much like nothing to be completely honest with you. Actually going to be waffling. But what we're going to do is we're going to make our way down here and hopefully not die says a bell of the witch. But you need to go. But yeah, if we make our way up here and hopefully without dying, apparently every zombie wants to be in this little area. Like, simmer down, people. Uh, but yeah, eventually we should be able to interact with this bug. But I think we've got to wait for them to all stop talking. Is that a level two pack bunch? It is. Oh, it's the same shotgun as I got now. No, it's not. What is it? Wait, what? No, it is. I just can't hold two of the, the same gun. Oh, unlucky. Okay, so there we go. So now we can talk to the book. And I'm pretty sure we're actually at the end of the strike. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, I'm not even playing. So if we make our way all the way back to this building over here, and if there's a green portal, and that's it. Right, that's the Easter egg done. So, yep, there's the green portal. And just like that, that is the end of the Easter egg. You're going to get no reward. You just get a load of like lore dump, which nobody cares about. Uh, and that's it. You don't get, I don't even think you get an achievement, but it is technically the Easter egg of Doran Fang. Like, this is what people consider the main Easter egg. Why there isn't like a reward that comes out the portal, or like why there's no like ending cutscene, or like something? I don't know, bro. I actually don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with this map, but yeah, that's going to be it for Vanguard, and that's also going to be it for the end of the video. So, yeah, you know, as I just said, that is the end of the video. So, this video, right, was a bit out of nowhere, but look, right, you guys have got to believe me, all right, currently I'm cooking up some crazy little project. And, you know, as a little teaser, it's basically going to consist of every single Easter egg from World of War all the way to Vanguard, Treyarch only, obviously. And yeah, it's going to be a little goofy, right? So just let me cook. Hopefully it won't take super long to come out. But if you did get this far in the video, comment, you know the rules. And the first person I see do it, I'll pin it, all right? So yeah, you know, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.